Hi, I'm Aikis, I'm from Germany, and this is my entry into Emma's Barroom Toolmaking Competition. My background in making stuff is mostly in 3D printing and electronics, both making videos and metalworking are new to me. So, if I look like I'm doing something for the first time, I am. What I decided to build for the competition is this indicator stand here. Um, the design I came up with is constrained by two things. First one, I don't want a magnetic base. I want to use this in places where I don't have magnetic surfaces to put it on. And the second one is, I don't have a proper machine shop. I don't have a mill, I don't have a lathe. All I've got is a, um, a drill press, a small belt sander, some hand tools. So the design needed to be mechanically simple enough that I can actually build it. I've got a um, block of steel as a base, 16 millimeter rods as shafts, and the clamping mechanism and connecting mechanism consists of these clamps, just a piece of steel, 16 millimeter hole for the shaft, 8 millimeter hole for the screw, a slot. Second one is basically the same. Only difference, the screw hole is tapped in this portion here, so I can lock this all together. The screw I want to fabricate out of a piece of threaded rod and a steel disc that I will bond together via Loctite. And um, on the front here, this is an idea for a clamping mechanism for an indicator. In this case, for an indicator with a hinge on the back. But I also have some other indicators, so I might do something um, on this piece here so I can use them all. Yeah, this is the basic mock-up I made. And now let's head over to the workshop. I ordered some material. First up, two blocks of pre-ground C45 carbon steel that will become the um, basis of the indicator stands. I have a piece of 60 mm drill rod that will become the shafts of the stands. And over here, already cut up, um, this came in a long bar. Also C45 carbon steel pre-ground, um, those blocks will become the clamps and behind them threaded rod and some discs of C45 steel that will become the screws. Okay, let's make the screw. Um, I have a piece of threaded rod here and also a disc that I cut up earlier and as you have seen in the model I'm going to file a square on this end and a square hole into the disc and then Loctite them together and for that I need a square on a round rod. Um, to achieve that I made this jig, it's 3D printed I fasten it onto rod like this. Set how much I want to find away. That's about right. Clamp it down. And then I can index the rod and I take degree positions to get a square. Also, I have this little piece that I can set in front here. That gives me an indication of how much I have to file away. I now have filed the square onto my threaded rod. And next up is to form the disc into the screw head. Okay. I have a 
um, 3D printer center finder here. So I can mark out the center of this disk. Um, and then I'm going to drill it for an M4 screw and put these 3D printed filing guides on either side so um, I have um, a profile I can file the disk down to. I formed the outer profile onto the disk and already mounted it into the second jig. This clamps it on the outside and has a square in it. Um, so I have a guide for filing the mating square to the threaded rod. And I marked the top face so I already always reference it the same way when trying the fit. And I'm now going to clamp it in the wires and start filing. Okay, I've cleaned these surfaces with some alcohol and now I'm going to bond them together with some Loctite and as you can see if I made them in this orientation they had us pretty square Not an ideal connection for Loctite, but it will work, I hope. I'm going to apply some Loctite all around. And push it in. Let's hope this works. The Loctite has cured now and it turned out really well. It's nice and solid and all that's left to do now is to cut it to length and polish up the filed surfaces on the screw head.